Hey you, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you are returning and thank you for stopping by either way. As you know, we have the Goth Galore kit and the Castle Estate kits that came out in The Sims 4. I am excited to take a look at the Goth Galore kit today. Um, we have gotten a number of items, like it looks like we've got some matte lipstick and some uh, pretty net or mesh blouses. It looks like we've got some uh, hot pants. We've also got some new boots, which are desperately needed um oh also a black jacket i'm excited to see the swatches under it looks like our male sims got some love were those overalls like i'm excited to see that looks like we got some makeup some gloves a necklace looks like we got a little black dress i'm loving a couple of these tops um some midriff shows oh we've got some jewelry as well um looks like we've got a couple of skirts i'm excited to see the swatches on that skirt um, um, and some makeup jackets and it looks like we've got a long trench so I think what we're gonna do is just start with a female sim and maybe make a new one I uh, thought about using a sim that I already had but like honestly I'm kind of excited to make a new one it's been a minute I am loving this little shirt right here um, it looks like we need to set our filters though because honestly I do not want to be doing this for the next 20 minutes I, I really wish there was a mod that would do this um, and maybe there is and I don't know you'll have to comment um, okay so let's see let's take a look at the different swatches on this shirt I really love like the net oh it looks like so the underneath changes so it's not just a color swatch change it's actually like a texture material change that's really neat I like that I like this jacket too that's really pretty uh, let's take a look at these shirts so I really do like the layering on these shirts I do wish they were a little bit more mature like as far as the t-shirt goes but this one right here is really pretty and I like the peekaboo underneath oh no so the sweater we've got the bug eye thing going on I saw a couple of videos where that bug was prominent so looks like that's a shame because that's a really pretty jacket um, so it looks like we're not gonna be able to use that right now and this one's nice this one's nice for summer okay let's put like maybe that one I really like the pink I think the pink is really pretty and for the hot pants it looks like basically what they did was did all of these different items in sort of um, similar swatches so you could be a little magic magic we've got a little pink and white going on I can see our Barbie fans um, really doing like goth Barbie it's gonna be exciting to see what people do with that I love this little skirt too and I really like that they did like um, a lot of adornments although I <sighs> I wish that the texture were a little better on a couple of these, um, but I do like the styles. I think they're really, really pretty. Like, I think the one that I'm not liking, that I'm really kind of liking the least is the purple. I'm not sure if it's paisley, and it's okay. It's pretty too, um, but I don't know. So like the little black dress, super, super stylish. I really like it. I'm not sure if it's given a goth, um, maybe that one swap. Watches. Um, but I mean, I just think it's giving like really pretty little back dress. And then of course we've got the trench, which is like, this is giving, you know, the matrix, but two, it's giving, but two. So, so like if we do a, but two next play, we let's play, we'll know what our outfit's going to be. It's going to be that not that I don't like it. It's good, but it's definitely, I don't know if it's a goth vibe as much as it's, you know, the matrix we're gonna need to give them uh, some clothes because these random clothes uh, are not gonna work out but that's what we're here for okay so you know what we need to do is let's finish taking a look at a couple of these swatches and then we'll just finish her off like these shorts are really nice and I do like the baggy of the pants um, but let's finish her off and go ahead and maybe pick a hair color for her let's try to go a little bit like I don't know I'm always going like alpha but um, maybe we can do a little maxis matchy this time I'm kind of feeling red for her I've been feeling red lately I don't know why um, but I'm gonna go through a color hair swatches that one's really pretty uh, let's see maybe something a little bit shorter um, for her face because I want to be able to see 
our earrings um oh i really like that one i think we're gonna stick with that hair okay let's refilter because goodness forbid we just filter once and everything stays okay um the boots are looking great like i i'm a fan of good boots let's give her some socks okay so her little piggies do not smell let's just make sure she's got socks okay let's go back and refilter i am wondering if we got anything for the under no no we sure didn't we didn't get anything off there but let's add some net and it's like you know magic to the rescue because i really really like these for the underneath um yeah that looks really nice okay so i do like the outfits that came with the kit um and i do like the swatches i think they're really really pretty i think my least favorite is the purple i want to like it you know but i don't okay so let's finish her kind of give her a little bit of makeup so we can slide into the makeup that the goth galore kit had to offer i did end up downloading a couple of piercings and i'll be honest with you i mostly have mods in my game like to modify the dumb base game behavior i don't run my game really cc heavy with a bunch of light makeup and eyelashes and skins i tend to like you know figure out which ones i abuse the most and then keep those as staples um but for this i really kind of felt like the piercings were lacking so i did a little piercing shopping um to take care of that and then i realized that i really kind of want some eyelashes i'm i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop because you know once you start cc shopping it's like your folder grows i'm like i really want to keep it slim so that my sim runs but anyway okay so we're gonna finish her off here give her a little makeup um see if we can adjust some sliders let's go back and filter and see what they gave us in the makeup category like i really love the lipstick but i have to say it is reminiscent of magic like and i love that it's matte um but it's like super matte um like really in the center of the lip it's really light so it's a very pretty um but i i do think i feel like we've seen this before and maybe what we'll do is come into the skin detail and see if we can get like a lip liner to kind of fill in the rest um let's see let's see let's slide down a little see if we can mess with the color um because i look really it's otherwise really pretty and i like that it looks really natural right inside the lip so um let's see another thing that i've been using is those face kits and of course always with this other eye slot um, so that you don't have to go in and actually use contacts and i find that the northern siberia wind eyes are so pretty okay so this is how she turns out and yeah it, she looks really pretty so far i'm really happy with her and like i am really vibing with red lately i don't know why so i think with the brown of her eyes she's looking really good and i think it's going to be great for our goth style okay um well of course we have to refilter because why not and then let's check out our jewelry they gave us a necklace and it looks like they gave us a pair of earrings and i really do like that chunky chunky necklace Ooh, the white is bright but i think it's really really nice it's pretty chunky and i don't know it's a lot of, we got a lot of jewelry going on but let's we're gonna go all in okay we're gonna go all in because that's the point point. and i do like the earrings too um i think i'm less a fan of those like kind of out there colors but i do like the normal subtle ones you know like the silver maybe the black maybe the gray um yes but, but i like the style i think they did a good job i do wish they had gone a little bit more heavy on the accessories though because like for a goth galore cat i feel like we could have used something or two in every category um i think that that would have made sense um but this is how she turned out and i really i really like the outfit um we're gonna give them a couple of outfits in the end uh and kind of fill up the wardrobe so that we can take a look at everything um sort of on and on a final form but right now this is where we are and we've got one everyday outfit going on and so far so good 
Um, in order to take a look at what we got for the guys, though, we are going to need to uh, make another sim. So I think what we're going to do is first change the cast lighting because that cast lighting is terrible. Uh, so I took a minute to actually download um, another cast lighting mod and really that brightened things up a little bit. I might also have a reshade on in here, um, but I honestly, I do not remember. I just know that things are much improved. Um, okay, so we're gonna go in before we go into our guy sim and take a look at like a couple of the things that I missed, which was the eyeshadow and see oh now that looks really nice I really did not expect to like this I'm gonna be very very honest I did not expect to like this eyeshadow but I do think I kind of do I it's really kind of pretty of course we already took a look at the um, lipstick and then it looks like that other that third um, option that they gave us. I'm not sure that that is an eyeshadow. I think that's in the face mask category, but we will take a look. These are actually looking really pretty. And I think if we take down the color with the slider, that it's going to be even more like subtly beautiful. So I do like these. Um, and I don't feel like, unlike the lipstick, I don't feel like I've seen this before, you know? So, um, so that was really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the other one here. I'm kind of scared of this one. Oh my goodness. Like I would not myself, it's not my style, so it's kind of scary to put it up. But I mean, it looks good. It looks good for a goth thing. It's kind of dark and we would probably want to use the slider on that as well if we were going to, you know, make our outfit up for that. Um, but so far, so good. And let's take a look at a couple of the different colors. Hold on, hold on, because I really kind of stuck with a red you know because I like I was feeling the red vibe but let's take a look here and her lips look really good like really naked like that too I like it I like it okay uh let's see let's refilter because you know why not let's see did, did they give us anything what other categories did they get well like I would have thought that we would have gotten, like I said, something in every category, um, but we didn't. And that's a real shame because I feel like, you know, for goth, like a layering in terms of both clothes um, and accessories and makeup is key, but um, that would have been a good opportunity to capture, like literally giving us something goth in every single category. But either way, I am really loving the way that she is turning out. I am really trying so hard to do something like more Maxis matchy um, because I really am liking that look lately. Now, I am thinking it's really coming out more Maxis mix. You'll have to let me know. And it's like, I am somehow not being able to help that. And it may be the eyes, but, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I think make a brother so that we can take a look at the um, male side of things what we got and let's just randomize Ew. okay we're you know why do they do that why do they stack on randomly like every accessory let's fix it and that's better right there okay so now we've got a good base in order to um, kind of build on this sim and again we're gonna try to stay a little bit maxis matchy if we can um, let's start with the harsh eyeshadow, which I think looks, for me, I feel like it looks better on the male sim, um, but I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. And I definitely like the lighter opacity on it as opposed to the darker. Um, but it's good, it's good, it's good. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be the everyday look for any of my sims, um, but I am glad that they included it. I just wish we'd have gotten a couple of more is all. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do to like get our male sim sort of to the point where, you know, at least he's almost finished. I want to change his hair color a little bit too. There we go. Like that's better. And maybe he's got a couple piercings going on. Okay, we're going to give him a name. We're going to give him a couple. Okay, here we go. And I'm not sure about the eyes. I think I'm going to change those. I'm, I don't know that I'm feeling those, but let's see. 
yeah that's better okay so we're going a little bit less you know like moody and more normal okay and so I do like the hair color for him I think we're going to stick with it and now let's take a look at a couple of the swatches now that we've got a sort of a, of a base for him uh let's see I really like this shirt that is sleeveless I I like that it's able to showcase um your sim skin underneath underneath I really like the sleeveless look and of course um, I, I really appreciate that the different swatches are not just color swatches, but also like a texture and style changes. I think that was a really good choice. And I love the jacket for the male sim. I love the swatches. Really, really, this is one of my favorite pe pieces. I... I'm not sure about the paisley and I, you know, it's not my particular style, um, but it is pretty for anyone who likes the style. The only thing is that, again, these shirts, like I feel like I like the layering, but I wish they would have been a little bit more mature. Like I feel like they were just a tiny bit kitty kitty. Um, we could have used like more mature shirts, I think for sure. Um, a little bit more mature, not themed, you know, not outrageous, but just not, not so kitty, if that makes sense. If you know, if you know what I mean. Um, okay. So then this one's good too. I like this shirt. I think this was the ones that I thought were overalls though. Yeah. Right there. I thought that was, I thought those were overalls when I originally saw it, but it's actually a shirt and it looks like it's even open. Like it's got the slashes at the shoulders, which which, yeah, that was nice too. It looks for the most part like the color swatches are the same color swatches throughout. He doesn't have the bug problem look. Like he can wear this jacket and he's fine. It's just her. So I guess, you know, oh well, I guess I'm, I will be able to wear this hoodie with him but not her. That's a real shame because like it's really cute. Um, but either way, either way. All right, so let's filter out. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Let's like click on all these, make sure that we're getting everything. Yeah, it looks like we've, for the most part, got everything in those categories. Okay, um, let's take a look at, of course, we need to refilter. You know, if some if someone knows of a mod, I would really appreciate that. That would stop us from having to do that. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's take a look at these pants. Oh, these are nice. I really like, I really like the more basic ones. I'll be honest. Like I really like the more basic ones. Again, not a fan of the paisley, not a fan of the color. Um, but I do like that they did the whole strappy thing on the one leg. That looks really nice. Um, is that a random pocket, like lower on the thigh? I'm not sure about that. Um, but I like the basic blacks and I really do like these shorts. They did a really good job there. Um, you know, I'm going to have to take a look at the texture in game because the texture doesn't look so bad here in Kaz, I'll be honest with you. So I really like that. Um, let's take off his shirt just so that we can see the buckle here a little bit and kind of move through the swatches. I'm sorry, guy. I don't mean to make you naked in front of everybody, but we need to see. We need to see. We need to see. Yeah, the pants look good. I really like these. And again, I love that as you're moving through the swatches, it's not just a color change, but it's actually a style change I do I like these shirts are fine but I do wish they'd have given us something more mature I've probably said that like 22 and a half times let's refilter because you know we're having fun with that and let's take a look at these shorts yeah I like these too I think they are very very similar to the female shorts um, and of course the boots are great the boots are gray. I love the boots. No issues with those. And honestly, we needed more boots. It's like you really don't know how few there are um, until you try to style all your Sims in a winter outfit. So these are chunky. Oh my God, these are chunky boots. And then of course we've got all the colors, which I really like. I really like, like I can see using a lot of these colors. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, let's see if we can maybe finish our sim up and like kind of see what is here first first for the goth stuff. Let's see if they gave us anything. I don't think so because we would have seen them. 
when we take a look at the at the launcher info but let's just you know let's just hope maybe if we hope then more items will magically appear in these categories no no we still got the same items all right all right i don't mean to disappoint me and you both but um let's see let's put the, the earrings on him the piercings on him move through the swatches like again i am a fan of the subtle more customary colors for the piercings i'm not sure i'm a fan of the more like um uncommon colors but it just could be a part my drab personality um so there is that um in any event so i think he's looking good so far i'm not sure we're going to keep that necklace at the end of the day um but i did want to take a look at it and um and, you know i kind of like the face paint on him more than i do on her for some reason um so i don't know maybe we'll go with that for one of the outfits at the end of the day and also i think that the eyes make a huge difference a huge difference here and if I don't manage to lock in whatever eyes then I'm gonna really have a hard time I think matching any of the like makeups and the liners and stuff um, that went around I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get a liner and again I'm kind of surprised we didn't get like something in every category for goth but um but either way I ended up putting together some looks for um both of our brother and sister so I really love the pink and the black combination. I ended up being such a fan of this look. Like I am very, very excited to hop in. Um, I ended up using the hot pants like this, and this looks really nice. I am telling you that as much as I love the Maxis Matchy and I love how she turned out, I think that the hot pants are a perfect opportunity for some alpha skin. So I'm probably gonna give that a try. Um, out of all the shirts that we got, I really like this one with the little skull and um and ended up pairing it with this um with these pants that with the little strappy thing going on on the right leg and the boots and that turned out and then I kind of leaned back into the pink um with this little shirt with the, with the cross at the back and I thought it was really really nice that you could see the the tats here and there it re looks really really pretty I am surprised we didn't get tattoos like okay here's our boot too outfit okay so the next time we want to step into the matrix um we're gonna be using this and you know not that i want to complain and i guess the more standard swatches are better but um but in any event okay and here's our guy look we ended up going with something like really basic um but kind of natural for the first outfit um and then yeah this one which i think I think we had this one on first, so that one's not a surprise. Um, okay, this was um, outfit number two, not outfit number one. And I really like the basic look of this one. Like, I cannot help it. Like, just plain black and white, I am here for it. Like, I feel like that is a good vibe. And then we don't have the bug eye bug going on with him here, as you can see, which is the oddest thing. So I went ahead and used um, this you know, sweater top or jacket top and put something together. I like the swatch color too. Um, I like it that it's pretty mild. Um, I do wish that her eyes weren't bugging out so that we could use the sweater for her or this jacket for her. And I think I'm closer to choosing maybe a good pair of eyes for him. We shall see. Okay, so the next outfit has us going with that top that I thought was the overalls. So I did avoid the overall looking one, um, but I went with the one th with the slashes at the sleeves because I thought, you know, that was a little bit more adult. Um, this one too, I chose the basic swatch. I love the layering, love the color, I love that it goes with the shorts. You know, it's a little bit matchy matchy, but I chose a basic swatch so that we didn't have the kitty colors going on. And then of course, um, let's not forget our trip to Badu. In any event, um, thank you very much for stopping by. If you like this sort of thing, please remember to give it a like. It really helps the algorithm. It will not hurt our feelings if you subscribe and maybe hit the bell. We've left a couple of uh, photos for you at the end and hope you enjoy them. See you in the next one. Bye.